Hey guys, this is Renoy and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Now, when I started this channel, I never thought that I'd actually be doing tutorials. However, I'm coming across an issue or I came across an issue here that I realize is affecting a lot of persons who use DaVinci Resolve. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I encountered these issues and what I actually did to resolve these issues. I'm going to be working with a few of these clips that you see here. I already have them in DaVinci Resolve, so let me go ahead and pull that up. So as you can see, all the clips are here in DaVinci Resolve. There is visual as you can see, and there's audio as well. All the clips are working flawlessly. So what I normally do when I, when I put everything on a timeline, a DaVinci Resolve timeline, I normally just come back out of DaVinci Resolve, grab those clips and put them in a specific folder. This happened to me before when I went back into DaVinci Resolve, it was giving me the media offline error message, as you can see. So what I figured out eventually was that if I go back in that folder where all those files are and I bring them back out, all the files in all the files are going to show up in DaVinci Resolve once again. They're going to be there. I can play the audio is back, the visuals back. Everything is just fine. So this was something that I accidentally discovered, but you know, it's a resolution to the problem. A lot of persons might be encountering this and not sure what's happening, but this is how you can have that issue resolved. Another way how I encountered this particular issue is when I had all the files on a memory card and I would, didn't move it from the memory card, I just kept it on the memory card, removed the memory card and installed another, it was giving me that media offline error. What I simply did to fix that was whenever there's a clip that I'm working with, I would just bring it from the memory card, put it, on, put it in a specific folder. That would absolutely resolve that issue. Now the third option here is when you actually move these into that folder and you get back into DaVinci Resolve and it's giving you that media offline message. What you can do is to go over to the media tab right here and you're going to select all your clips. And then after selecting all your clips, you're going to right click and you're going to select the option that says relink clips. It's going to bring you to this file, this folder here that has all the information that's on the computer. All you need to do is just find that specific folder that they're in. Mine happens to be in Renoi. And you're gonna find the desktop. Next thing is that specific folder, which was test clips. And once you press okay, they'll all be relinked. So that's one way how you can get that media offline error message off. Once you go back, over to your edit tab, you press play and everything is back. Your audio is back, your visual is back. Just a quick reminder to like, share and subscribe. And I'd absolutely appreciate if you can let me know what I can improve on in the comments. This is Renoy from OC Image and I want to thank you so much for watching my very first DaVinci Resolve tutorial. If I encounter any further issues and how to resolve them, I'll absolutely upload some more tutorial videos. As always guys, just remember to live, love, and laugh.